It's one less step to being able to fight. Uh, Damien Mander is a tall Australian military trained sniper who runs the International uh, Anti Poaching Foundation. He is the founder of Akashinga, which means the brave ones. He used to believe women had no place in the military, but he changed his mind. We started with 36. Now at the end of three days, only three had pulled off voluntarily and we flogged these women. I mean, we put them through hell and they just kept smiling and coming back harder and harder. I did selection for 189 men in Victoria Falls a few years ago. At the end of the first day, three were left. I knew that everything I thought about how I operated and how I've run my operations, how I've acted as an instructor, I knew all of that was irrelevant now. Well, I mean, I've trained thousands of people, headed up the Iraq Special Police Training Academy in northern Baghdad, training paramilitary forces. I've trained rangers across southern Africa. Uh, they've all been men. This is the first time I have trained women. Today, there are 36 women field rangers working in the Zambezi Valley and many more are being trained. Mander is ready to do whatever it takes to scale up this project and share his successful model. The most productive thing I could do to help these uh, women uh, do their job, if that was scrubbing toilets, I'd be out scrubbing toilets. But uh, you know, my background and specialty is counterinsurgency warfare, uh, which, despite how it might sound, actually involves a lot of working with the local populations and understanding their needs. That's the third one. This is a good job, so you can do it, because it's not a men's job, but for everyone. After her boyfriend left her pregnant, Masliro used her paycheck to support her child, buy a small plot of land for a house, and continue her education after her father left her family and stopped paying her school fees. Yes, for me, I can see that we are now equal to men. We are 50-50. The project magnifies community development by paying good salaries to these women from the surrounding communities, who then plow their money back into solving social problems. So I'm planning that if things go well, I want to help some orphans. Even if I manage to help one who is not going to school, that's what I'm planning. According to scientist Victor Muposhi from Chinoy University of Technology, there is something very special happening here in Zimbabwe's lower Zambezi Valley. Right in the middle of nowhere and the Zambezi Valley, and it is the beginning of a bigger and greater movement. And people will be surprised, but we're going to develop it to become one of the best models of conservation and protection of wildlife and community development based on women empowerment. Adrian Stern, the photographer who created these remarkable images of the powerful women in this project, agrees with Victor. This is probably the biggest, boldest, and most sustainable conservation model I've been involved in. I honestly think that there is a future here far beyond these women in the Zambezi Valley. They are a prototype, it is a format that can be rolled out through this entire country and beyond. And conservation is self-preservation. What we have done to our planet will end up happening to us, no doubt. So what we do to the animals, we do to ourselves. According to Vimbai Kumiri, lots of new women are keen to join up. People always ask, what am I supposed to do to be like you? 